Okay, what we're looking at here is a database that I created that is uh, for the purpose of tracking my Theta staking rewards to see how they work out on an average daily basis over a given period of time. So what we're looking at here is, let's go to the last record. Okay, so we're looking at the last record, record number 31. So there are 31 payments in this period that I'm looking at. So now if I click on average, it puts this information down here. My average daily rewards over 25 days is 14.4 T-Fuel per day. The last payment received was on 4-3. So basically 25 days is uh, about three and a half weeks. And my payments have gotten to the point where I'm receiving 14.4 T-Fuel per day on average over that 25-day period. Now understand that some days I get a payment, other days I don't. On 4-3 or April 3rd, I happen to have gotten five payments over the course of that 24-hour period. Period. So uh, that splurge of payments brought me up to 14.4 T-Fuel per day on average over that 25-day period. And based on the amount of Theta that I have staked being just a little over 14,000 Theta, that means that I am getting about 1 T-Fuel per 1,000 Theta that I have staked, which is equivalent to what I was getting before they changed the way they pay this stuff out. So I don't have a problem with the way they're doing it now, even though it was nice to be getting something you know regular before they changed it uh, it was a little irritating that it was happening every 12 minutes which meant trying to find any given single payment in and amongst a million different payments was a pain in the butt so uh, I think overall I prefer this given that the testing that I've done here up until April 3rd when I got five payments my daily average was only about 12 and it was like well i should be getting like 14 but you know the luck of the draw and uh, on the third i got five payments spread out across the day and that brought my daily average up to where it should be so 25 days 14.4 t fuel per day on average i'm happy take a quick look here at the uh Price of Theta, it's eleven dollars and seventy-six cents. We're talking uh, April fourth. That's a Sunday. You know, if you people aren't taking advantage of this price, buying as much as you can. I mean, even if you can only buy, you know, ten or twenty at a time, get as many as you can, because we ain't gonna keep this price for very long. It's bound to be going up. I don't know. It could, you know, it could be. Tomorrow, it could be two, three weeks from now. But in my opinion, the closer we get to June, the more uh, upward pressure there's going to be on the price of Theta. And I think the same thing will hold true. Let's take a look at the price of T-Fuel. Currently 41 cents. And I think the same thing will hold true there. That given the amount of T-Fuel that's currently staked of only about 10% from my uh, investigation into it, I think that a lot of people are going to be wanting to take advantage of the T-Fuel staking rewards and the minimum that they would need to obtain is 10000 And so, you know, that's $4,100 that they're going to have to lay out just to get a uh, stake of 10000 T-Fuel. To get 200 like what my current stake is, would be, you know, considerably more. Very few people have that amount of money. The only reason why I have that amount staked is because I saw this opportunity way back when it was only, you know, less than a penny. I loaded up. So you'd have to already have quite a bit of money to be able to come in at the amount that I have staked. But hey, that's just the way it is. If you don't spot the opportunities early on when you can jump in cheap, then you've got to pay the price of uh, being a, a late comer. But I still think that given where the price of T-Fuel, I think, is going, it's a good deal. You know, get as much as you can while you can. And that's, I don't know what to tell you. Take a look here at my spreadsheet. Okay, based on this spreadsheet, 
if only 10% are staked, which is my, uh, you know, just look at that video I did. I calculated it back to where it showed that what my percentage of the pot was. And I don't want in and experiment it here. I mean, it's a two-step process. First thing you got to do is you got to figure out what percentage of the overall staked T fuel is, what percentage of that total does yours represent. So if you're looking at this says 10% stake, so that's 524 million that are staked. My 200,000 represents 0.038% of that total. And so that tells me that my share of the pot will be whatever the size of the pot is times 0.038%. And then so down here it shows that if the amount staked remains static, the same doesn't change over the course of a year, I would get 80,000 T fuel. If you look below that, the monthly amount, which is simply the yearly amount divided by 12, says that I will get 6,667 T fuel per month. That's a significant amount of passive income. You multiply that times the current price of 40 cents per T fuel. You know, that's a couple of thousand dollars a month worth of T fuel that I'll be getting. You really look at it on a daily basis because the amount of T fuel that's staked changes from one day to the next. Not a lot, probably, but it does. It changes. So, you know, that's the way the Edge node, they pay T fuel staking rewards every 12 hours so twice a day basically and they i'm sure they chose that because they realized that the amount staked is going to change over the course of a day so that's why they're doing it that way so all i can say is man if you're not in t fuel and staking it like i said the first step is determine what percent your stake is of the total amount staked so if you were to take 524,561,120 that's the size of the pot based on 10% being staked that's uh, the amount that's currently staked and if you multiply that times 0.038% you would get 200,000 which is my stake so based on those calculations we know how much of the T fuel rewards pot I get and over the course of a month, it would be 6,667 T-Fuel. That's going to be a pretty nice passive income. And they've pretty well settled in on the 4% inflation rate, which is the newly minted T-Fuel set aside for paying T-Fuel sticking rewards. And, well, all I can say is I feel bad for those people who didn't see the opportunity early on and take advantage of the fact that the price of T-Fuel was under a penny. Okay, if you found this helpful, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button for me if you would on your way out, and I'll see you in the next video.